Hello everyone, it's me Jennifer with Jennifer Sewing and Crochet and as you can tell by today's thumbnail we're going to talk about crochet hooks. I'm going to start off with my least favorite that I like to use and then move along onto the, fa the ones that I like to use the most. Okay, we're going to start. I'm going to zoom you in just a couple notches. Okay, so these are plastic crochet hooks. I used to have a set of 12, but as you can see, they are very flimsy and flexible. Even the thicker size hook is very flexible. Um, I had a set of 12. I broke them all, except for these two. I really don't like using them. Um, some people do. If, if you're one of those, that's fine. So there's plastic. We're going to move on then to aluminum. These are typically in a set of three when you buy them. I have two different eye hooks. This is a, an I9, which is a 5.5 millimeter hook. Right there you can see the see the size right there. Hope you can see that okay. okay. So this set came with um, an, a G, which is this one, which is a don't have the size right off hand. A G hook is a four millimeter hook. Okay. Then an H hook which is a five millimeter hook and then these are the eyes which I said are 5.5 millimeter. I have them in two different colors. I have the green one for working with darker fabrics. I'm able to see better on a lighter colored hook and then the gold colored hook I use with lighter fabrics and it's easier for me to see. These typically, like I say, come in a set of three, and they range between five and seven dollars at Walmart. Okay, so there are those. There are also these type of aluminum hooks. Um, with these, you'll just notice that it's a shiny aluminum, and these are just a flatter finish aluminum. Nothing, nothing different other than the finish. These are, are a boy brand. Um, it's a K hook, which is a, oh, sorry, the J hook is a 6.0 millimeter. K hook is a 6.5 millimeter. And a J hook, which is a 9.0 millimeter. 9 millimeter. There are those. And these are also aluminum crochet hooks, just a little bit smaller. This one is a B hook, which is a 2.25 millimeter. This one is an E hook, or a 4, which is 3.5 millimeter. This is also an F hook, which is a 3.75 millimeter. I'm showing you the two different hooks because if you look here on the tip of the hook compared to this hook it is very sharp right here see this right here I'm trying to hope you can see that I don't typically like this hook I'm sorry I keep getting out of frame again I need to work on that this is a Susan Bates hook Nothing is wrong with this hook. I just don't like how sharp it is here on the edge. And when I'm working, I tend to snag my yarn with it. I am um, a bigger fan of the boy hook, which is um, B-O-Y-E. Okay. Then we have ergonomic hooks. This is a hard I believe they say it's a silicone hook, but it's just a, a harder plastic. 
it has a nice little dot here on the handle where you can place your thumb so you know you have well um, hand placement. I like ergonomic hooks because they are they tend to be a little bit longer on the end. This is an H hook which is 5 millimeter. This is a G hook which is a 4.5 millimeter. These are also made by Boy. I bought these at Walmart and they're typically four to five dollars a hook. Okay. Then we have other ergonomic hooks which are also a Boy brand. This is an I hook which is a 5.25 millimeter. This is a J hook which is a 5.75 millimeter. These ergonomic hooks um, have a more of a rubbery silicone handle grip on them. I do like them because if you're working uh, on projects longer, they just kind of fit your hand and they warm up nicely and, and make it easier to crochet for long periods of time. Okay, now I'm going to show you the hooks that I like working with the most. I am not sponsored in any way. I would love to be. <laughs> um, these are Yarnology hooks. Uh, I, I discovered these hooks by mistake one day um, because they didn't have um, other hooks that I wanted that were in, in this style. So I found these and this was the first one I bought. It is an H hook. It's got a, they've got very nice grips on them. They fit my hand really well. I really like working with these. Um, the only con on these hooks is if you can see this one still has the size on it and this one doesn't. As you're working with them the it will, it will rub off over time. So what I did is I took a needle and I scratched the size of the hook into the plastic. Okay. Like I said these are yarnology hooks. I bought these at Hobby Lobby and I paid I believe it was $3.49 for each hook. So this one is a 5.5 millimeter, which is an I. This is an H hook, which is a 5 millimeter. This is a size 7, which is a 4.5 millimeter. This is a 4.0 millimeter, which is a G or a 6. Like I said, these are my favorite hooks. It's the one that I radiate to whenever I have a project now. I just really like the way they fit my hands. My fingers don't cramp after hours of crocheting. Okay. Now I am going to show you stainless steel hooks. Um, stainless steel hooks come in many, many sizes. Typically with a stainless steel hook, the smaller the number the larger the hook, okay, as you can see on here, it's just a, oops, sorry, a larger hook on it. This is a size 11 hook, and if you notice, you can barely see the hook on there. Um, these are boy brand also. Um, I believe they go clear down to a size 14. This is a, I believe it says Millward. This is a hook that was made in England. It's a size 11. This was my grandmother's crochet hook. She liked to crochet with sewing thread and make homemade lace. She was from Finland and I guess that was taught to her as a child. A very small hook. Okay. Now, this is a good point. Um, when you are doing a crochet project, you typically want to start your project with the hook that you start with and finish it with the hook you start with. And the reason why is brands different, um, different brands, I'm sorry, will vary in sizes, okay? So these are the boy brand, like I said. This is a five, number five hook, which is a 1.9 millimeter. 
this is a number six, which is a one point. Let's see that. I believe it's one point eight millimeter, and this is a seven hook, which is a one point six five millimeter. Um, I hope you can see those sizes that are right here on that hook. I'm sorry, I keep getting out of frame. Darn dang it! Right there. Okay. Now this hook is another Susan Bates hook. Okay. It is also a size five, but their her size this brand is a 1.7 millimeter hook. Okay. The number five in the boy brand is a 1.9 millimeter hook. Okay, a lot of people will say, well, what's the difference? It's not that much of a difference, but when you are starting a project and you're working with thread and it has to, the tension has to be just right, it will add up over time and make your, make your project different. Um, I know it's not a big difference in these two, in this example, but like I said, start and finish your project with the hook that you started with. Okay, so these are your cur are, are your um, stainless steel hooks, and these are typically all, um, used for thread crochet. Um, the larger of the, of this one, um, the zero zero, which is a three point five millimeter. You can use sock yarn. You can use um, baby yarn, which are really fine yarn. But, they're, the, but typically they're used for um, thread crochet, which you would make doilies, jewelry, things of that, that nature. Okay, now I am going to show you Tunnison crochet hooks. Okay. Um, a lot of people will say, well, aren't these knitting needles? Well, no. They do have the end, like a knitting needle, okay, that has a little stopper thing here. And this is typically just to keep your thread on the hook, or your yarn, excuse me, on the hook. But this end has a crochet hook on it. Tunnison is a different crochet technique, which usually is a combination of the crochet and knitting style combined. I am still very new at it. If you would like to see some Thomason crochet work, please comment down below and I can do a separate video on that. I have these in three different sizes. Um, this one is a J hook. This one is a K hook. And this one is a H hook. They also make Tunnison crochet hooks like this with a cable on them. And this is also an H hook. This is a Susan Bates hook. But with these larger hooks, they're, they're not really sharp like I showed you in the, in the previous small aluminum. The reason why there is a cable on here is if you are going to be making a baby blanket, um, a scarf, maybe even a crochet cowl. Okay. So, Tunnison is also spelt T U N I S I E N. I bought this particular hook at Hobby Lobby for $5.99. Right here. Now, these are also Tunnison crochet hooks. You can see that there is a long tubing on these hooks. I believe um, from the end of the hook to the end of the, the bead, they are 64, 63, 64 inches, right around there. Okay, these are made out of bamboo. Um, my set is a 12-piece set. 
a 10 millimeter all the way down to a 3.0 millimeter hook. Okay. Um, if you do get bamboo hooks, this is another thing that like I showed you with the Susan Bates hook. The end of them right here tends to be sharp and they can snag your yarn. So you could take a small piece of um, sandpaper or even a um, emery board with the soft side and buff this a little bit so it's not so sharp. I will be doing another video on the, the Tunison Crochet. Um, I am a new learner on that, so if you'd like to see those, please comment down below and we can get a video.